Well, here we are another day out here working on the motorized bikes bicycle again. And I'll show you some work that I did uh, that I'm just now videotaping. I didn't make a uh, sort of a how-to. But I came in here and I cleaned up my uh, engine bracket. And as you can see there, I got uh, everything painted. And uh, so I got all that stuff painted. I got the jack shaft in. Bring it around to the other side. See, I got the jack shaft there. Uh, got the excess cut off. I uh, got all my longer set screws in place. Uh, put the uh, uh, thread locking compound on there. And uh, even painted the engine uh, base plate, as you can see there. And uh, so yeah, uh, that was about it. I got the engine uh, bolted down securely with the uh, thread locker on the bolts underneath. And so today, what I think I'm gonna tackle is uh, working on the gas tank. And uh, I've got two options and I'll show you those. Uh, but I'm pretty sure uh, which one I'm gonna go with. So uh, anyway, let me go grab the fuel tanks and I'll show you which one I'm gonna use and why. So here's the two gas tanks that I have to choose from. I've got the little uh, gas tank that came with that uh, eBay bike engine kit. It's the one that just clamps around the frame. And then I also have the fuel tank that came on top of the engine. I had to take this one off because the top tube of the bike was right over the top of the uh, fill cap. So it made it real difficult to get in there and fill it with fuel. Now I'm actually going to use this fuel tank. Um, I don't like this one. This gas cap is complete piece of crap. It's supposed to be a vented cap, but it's not. Um, the petcock is junk, and the inside of the uh, of this tank uh, is actually uh, shedding. There's like paint in there, so it's actually like shedding crap. Uh, I found a bunch of that in the carburetor of the, uh, the bike engine. I actually sold all that stuff, but I had to clean out the carburetor before I sold it. Plus, I've read on all the different motorized bike websites how bad these uh, studs are that are welded uh, to this tank. And they come out and then they, or they'll crack a little bit and then you got a leak in your tank and all that kind of junk. So I'm actually going to use the, the gas tank that came with my engine. I'm just going to have to remount it. Uh, I, you know, I did run this engine in. And uh, this is a very good vented cap. Uh, it does allow fuel uh, to uh, flow down into the carburetor. Uh, and they look completely different, but these are actually both two liter tanks. So it's the same amount of fuel. And uh, so anyway, I'll show you how I'm gonna, how I plan to mount this uh, gas tank on the bike. All right, so there's three mounting tabs on this engine for this uh, gas tank to mount on here. There's one here, right here, right here. You can still see I got the, I just put the uh, bolts back in place. And there's one right here. And those lined up with the three mounting points on the engine. And I'm actually gonna keep using those, except what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna space them out. In fact, I only need to make one spacer uh, for this front part right here. And, uh, well, I actually need to space it out a little bit more than that. But basically what I want, I need to bring that fuel cap out from uh, underneath the uh, top tube. So, uh, that's what I'm gonna do there, is I'm just gonna space this tank out a little bit, keep it in its almost original position, just space it out a bit so that I can get the gas cap off without it being right underneath this uh, top tube here. So I'll get to working on that. I'm probably gonna need to uh, get some uh, longer bolt, but uh, I'll figure something out. All right, here's how I'm gonna affix the gas tank. You can see here I've got three little spacers that I cut and this is just out of some, uh, it's about a half inch diameter uh, 
DOM tubing. Uh, inside diameter is about three eighths. Um, but you can see here, I got two of these little ones that are about three quarters of an inch, and this taller one's about an inch and three quarters. So now let me uh, reposition the camera and I'll show you how I'm using those on the bike. All right, and here you can see how I use those little uh, spacers. There's one here, this is the longer one, the one and three quarter inch. Here's one of the uh, three quarter inch spacers. And the other one is way back there. You can see it right in there. I'll zoom in a little bit, right there. And so uh, that's how I've got it mounted to the engine. I just utilize the original mounting holes. These holes are uh, drilled and tapped all the way through. These are the original tank mounting brackets. Uh, the, I got three bolts all the same length and uh, only one of them worked out. So I got to, uh, you know, obviously these are too long, so I'll go back and uh, get some shorter ones. But that's the basic idea. And uh, real simple. I do have to get a longer uh, fuel line. See if we can zoom in there and find it. You see it right there. Right there. That is the uh, it's that little tube right there. So I got to get longer one, and I'll probably get a little filter, even though this one has a little filter inside the tank. So, but I'll probably get a, a second little uh, fuel filter that goes through there. Well, let me back up here. I'll pick you up and I'll show you how it looks on the bike. So you can see here, we're far enough away from the uh, top tube. Just come in here, pull it off, and then we just put our fuel in there. So I'll come back a little bit. You can see it doesn't stick out any farther than the uh, chain shroud. So we're good there. And it gives me room over here uh, to mount my uh, uh, throttle linkage. So uh, that'll probably be our next little project. And here's one other thing I had to modify. This is obviously the little air cleaner housing, factory one that came with the engine. I had to modify it just a little bit down here. I made this kind of radius cut. Originally it was straight across, just like you see uh, up here on the top. It was really originally straight across and I had to make this relief cut uh, for that uh, bearing flange retainer. Uh, holding the jack shaft and I'll go and uh, bolt this on the bike and uh, show you how that works. All right, here you can see the uh, air filter housing on the bike and let me just zoom in here and you can see where I had to modify uh, the little air filter housing. You see right in there, I had to come in here and make this relief cut to fit around the uh, uh, bearing plate, uh, bearing retainer. So that was the only modification I had to make there. And uh, that air cleaner is back on and uh, working as, as usual. So, like I said, I think our next project is gonna be coming here and uh, work on our uh, uh, throttle assembly. I'll come in here and uh, this is the fuel line. I gotta get a longer one like I just mentioned. So, uh, but that gas tank is uh, basically mounted. Uh, I just gotta get go back to the hardware store and get some shorter bolts. If you're wondering what the thread is on these, they're metric, and it's M6 1.0. Uh, so I'll have to go back and get a, uh, two shorter ones, but uh, other than that, uh, the tank is mounted and uh, ready to use. So we'll just work on that uh, throttle assembly, and we'll be real close to getting this thing on the road.